Okay, so I... So back then, about a year ago, when I was in 8th grade, I made a video on me constructing this clock right here. I'm going to remake the video because it wasn't a really good video. It was just me being an 8th grader. Being a stupid 8th grader. Being a cringy 8th grader. Being an 8th grader who wishes he was better than everybody else. But I was wrong. So I'm going to redo the video. I'm going to switch the audio out of me just talking over on how I made this clock. So I hope you guys enjoy. And this is the making of a Metroid Prime wall clock. To begin with, I doweled the two pieces of wood together. I then made my own compass and drew a circle around the whole piece of wood. And then I cut it out with a jigsaw because at that time I did not have a bandsaw. And then I cleaned up the joint with my belt sander. I also rounded over the corners with my belt sander. I took it up the grits from 220 to 1000, and that made it super duper smooth. I also stained it with some redwood stain. I also chiseled out the logo with a cold chisel. The metal I got from bread tin. I then cut it out with some tin snips. I duct taped over the S, and then I spray painted it apple red. I then drilled a hole in the middle. I chiseled out an area in the wood where I would put all the clock parts. I ordered the numbers off eBay. They were laser cut. And then I super glued the numbers on, and then assembled the clock.